Okay, uh, last video we managed to make ourselves grow, and now I would like to make it so that we can die. And I want to go back to green because this brown looks horrible. Makes my brain hurt. Okay, so what do we need to do to make ourselves die? So uh, there's three ways to die. Oh, no, there's two ways to die right now. You can run into yourself or you can run off the screen. So let's see. Um, I'm looking at my old code. I'm going to see what we did to die. And that's probably in the, the tick function. Um, maybe poison, maybe food, update score. Um, how, oh, is dead. Here we go. So let's put this in our tick function. And I did that um, right after check food. Uh, grow if on food is what I called that. So let's put is dead here. So we're calling a function there, which should return a Boolean. So let's go get that function is dead. That's quite a function. 189 to 226 yank into the... Oh, I can't keep myself from doing that. And let's just put it down on one. Okay, let's figure out what is dead does. So um, because our snake is a global variable, we can just... Um, reference it anywhere. So again, snake head, get the first element of the snake. So we have is out of bounds, is on self. Let's take out poison for now. Let's take out the shrinking. Let's, um, let's do that. Take this out. Okay. So Okay, so one of the things I'm just noticing as I'm going here is I have document.get element by error and um, um, I'm going to split this and I did snake.html. We don't have anything that says error on here. So I'm going to go to my other code and I'm going to grab whatever the error thing is. So just above the canvas, I have put that's not right. Uh, oh, I cannot seem to get my brain to do a, con a command tilde instead of a command tab. So let's make this bigger. So what we're putting in here is a an H2 element with ID game over, so we can reference it. We're going to make it hidden, which makes it so that it still takes up space, but you don't see it. And there, I could use display none, but then it wouldn't even take up space. So as soon as we made it display, it would push the canvas down. It would be kind of jarring because you're moving things around. So we're going to do, um, we're going to use visibility hidden and the text is in the game over and then there's going to be a button for restart so that we can restart the game. So I'll save that, we'll get rid of that. So this is going to set the, um, uh, what we're, okay, so let's go back to the beginning here. We're, we're going to check if, if the, um, if the snake is out of bounds and if it's on itself. So if the snake touches itself, it dies. So we have a function here is outside bounds with snake head. And then we have is snake on self. We don't need, uh, why don't we, uh, for some reason we don't need snake head for that. So then if we have is out of bounds or we have is on self, then we initialize it uh, an array to hold all of the strings. I was kind of going with the assumption here that you could potentially get more than one of these, but likely you won't. I don't know if it's even possible. So if it's out of bounds, then we're going to add an error string to the error strings array. So we push, that puts it on the uh, end of the array. We're going to put out of bounds. And if it's on itself, we're going to push um, another this message on. And then we'll join those together. So we find the element that is error. And we're going to set the inner text to all of those error strings joined together by commas. And then we'll return true if it was out of bounds or if it was on itself. And otherwise, we're going to return false. So let's go back to the is dead, what we call that. So if it is dead, we're going to call stop. So let's do this, a stop function. Um, 
is dead. Stop. Hang that. And that's probably down here. So what's stop do? Stop logs that we stopped tick and it says clear interval interval ID. Okay, so what is this interval ID and what is clear interval? Well, first of all, we're gonna have to go get a clear interval. Oh, that's a built-in function. So here, when we do start, we call set interval. I'm gonna shut this. Um, and we that's when we set it to how often we want this interval to call tick. And right now we have it set to 100 milliseconds. Up at the top, you can see in line one there. And then every 100 milliseconds we'll call tick. Well, what we get, oh, we actually have to store that. So let's do, um, so in my other code, I'll probably have interval ID, I do. Let's go back here. We'll set interval ID and set interval returns the interval ID. And we're not gonna do let or const or anything like that because it's a global variable, we've already declared it. And we, if we store this ID globally, then anywhere we can cancel the interval by setting, by doing cancel interval. So down at the bottom, or clear interval. We can call clear interval, which is a global function and that's provided by the, the browser in the JavaScript engine or whatever. And we can pass in that interval ID that we stored when we started the intervals going, and we can turn that off. So that's what stop will do. And we'll console log that we stopped the tick function. And so let's see, is dead. And then we get the game over and we set its visibility to visible. So we show the, um, uh, the game over thing and then we return. And then we call, oh yeah. So then, then we stop drawing. So we don't uh, draw anything new once, you've, once you're dead. So let's see, will that do it? Oh, we need to go implement these functions. We have uh, is outside bounds and is snake on self function. So is outside bounds and is snake on self to implement down here. Let's go down here. So is outside bounds, you pass it a point. It, it deconstructs that object and gets the X and Y fields. And it says is X less than zero or is Y less than zero, which means did x is x over here beyond zero or is y up here beyond zero or it says is x greater than num cells this is the number of cells so is x over here beyond the cells or is y greater than num cells is y down here beyond these so in other words have you gone off the edge so that's pretty straightforward and we give it a nice name is outside of bounds so you can look at this logic without having to piece together what it says and be like oh this is checking bounds uh, and then we do is snake on self so we get the length of the snakes uh, length of the snake parts. And if it's greater than one, we need to check. If it's only one long, it can't be on itself. And realistically, we can change this to two because, or actually three. There's no way you can run into yourself if you only have three, um, if you only have three parts. Because if you were here, here, and here, there's no way you could get back and hit yourself in time. So even it would be hard if you had four, but I think you could maybe do it. Although, yeah, because I think it would do the check before it would redraw. So let's change that. So that'll that'll make it so we don't have to do quite as much. Um, uh, we don't have to use this as much CPU. But um, I think it was Donald Newth said, pre-optimization is the root of all evil. So don't worry too much about making things fast before you've measured and seen that you need, that they need to be faster. So first, just make it work. Then you can go back and make it great. And then if you need to, you can make it fast, but you need to measure first so that when you make something faster, you can check it if it actually worked. And if that, if you were actually addressing the slowness or if you were just wasting time. So we get the head, snake parts zero. And then in order to get the tail in JavaScript, you can call snake parts slice one. Slice means you're chopping that array up from some point and taking the rest. And we're slicing from index one, which will be the second element. Index zero is the first element, and that goes back to how arrays were done in, I think, probably C at least, maybe assembly. Um, back then, um, in order to, if you had an array of, of elements in memory that were in contiguous uh, spots in memory, and the, the, the array variable would re refer to the first spot, and then the index was how many, how many bytes you added on to get the next spot. So if you, if the array variable already pointed to that first spot, you would add zero because you're like, I just want to stay there. 
If you want the second element, I need to get where that array is in memory and add to it to get the second spot. You didn't need to know that, but now you know why arrays start at zero sometimes. Then we can return, uh, so we get the head, we get the tail, and we can return if the head is on the tail. We don't want to know if the head is on the head, because it always will be. We want to know if the head is on the, less, on the rest of the snake, which is why we don't pass anything to is snake on self. So now we have is outside of bounds, is snake on self. If you touch yourself, you die. If you go off the screen, you die. And you know what? As is often the case, we're just going to go in and find out what bugs we have. Oh, so something happened. Everything stopped, but I don't see game over. So let's go look at elements. I have a game over. And if we click on that, we can see that display is blocked. Visibility is still hidden. So we didn't actually show that. So that's the first bug. Um, I went and did this by going to the elements tab and then you can mouse over to see where your elements are and then you can go see what their CSS style is. So let's go see if we can ascertain why we didn't um, show our game over thing. So visible visibility is visible. So this is is dead. So is dead seems to have stopped things get element by ID. Did we um, snake.html? Did we we did save this. We do have game over. Um, we do have visibility hidden. So that is set. Did I change something? Is dead game over style. So let's see. Do we have this is maybe food move grow up on food is dead. Is dead. We do these things. Um, oh, we don't have an error, so let's go get that. We have a game over, but we don't have an error. Let's put back here. Oh. Make it HTML. Let's put the error below the canvas. And let's, let's just, you know what, let's just go see if that's what did it. Let's go off the screen. Oh. Okay, there we go. Game over, restart, and out of bounds. So something was happening. There was some, some. Uh, we were getting some problem where if we didn't show the error, maybe it gave an error because there was no thing called um, error, and then we wouldn't do the game over thing. So now, um, just before we end this, let's go and set up this res. Actually, you know what? That's good. The game is ending. Actually, let's try um, running into ourselves. I need to be over here. So let's. Now let's just get nice and big and then let's try running us. Oh, there we go. So snake ate itself game over. So now we can make the game end and that's good for this video.